It came from the third dimension. 3D News by The entire world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people will still know? That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned, he's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really stop know. talking. What just happened? We tampered with the stability of space time. The multiverse is a concept about. Hello, 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 this is Adolf, and I have with me Classic Jake. Howdy, folks. And we're doing an emergency podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's finally dropped. The Spider-Man trailer. Ooh, well, it's a teaser anyway. Spider-Man No Way Home. No Way Home. No way home, and uh, this is uh, obviously a 3D News Byte podcast. We just got the, um, from recording time, we just got the trailer, teaser trailer, an hour ago. Well, unofficially, we got it like a day or two ago, but I didn't bother with that because it looked like trash. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's a, and this and it's a different cut. What uh, was leaked is not this. Tr- the what was released t- tonight was an official trail teaser and it's high quality uh and it's got me pumped i cannot wait till christmas santa's bringing us a good present a spider-man movie so yeah that uh we gotta talk about that quote-unquote leak because i don't know if it's a leak or if that was like a stunt or something uh maybe you know we'll figure it out but like it was somebody posted that they are doing like a vertical video of a horizontal monitor that's showing someone else doing the video. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. okay, I guess that's a way to get around copyright, but I mean, come on, that's a terrible way to view this. And then like the, the graphics were not fully done either. And it's just like, okay, I'll just wait. I'm not going to bother yeah. with this. <clears throat> And we've seen, I, I, I've seen teases on YouTube where people have made up a trailer and just like, damn it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this could have been a, that could have been a, a leak from something shown at Cine, CinemaCon because they often show unfinished stuff to theater owners and buyers and stuff. All right, let's get to this. So, what is in this trailer, uh, Classic Jake? Explain it to people that haven't seen it yet. Okay, basically, this is we're seeing um, uh, how Peter Parker is getting by with the whole world knows that he's Spider Man. So, basically, he's stealing a rooftop moment of privacy with MJ, and they're reading. Um, uh, an article where they're speculating about his uh, spider powers. Which I, I would have loved if they would have teased that meme. Was like, oh, can he shoot spiders out of his hands? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that would have been funny, but, you know, it is what it is. They had to own the joke, because that would be a horrible power. <laughs> yeah. Or if he could actually shoot webbing like an actual spider. That would have been even worse. <laughs> oh, out of his butt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, he's like, you know, man, things are just so nice up here. Why can't we stay up here? Things are so crazy down there. And it's like, yeah, you know, I feel you, Spider-Man. I feel you. <laughs> things are crazy <laughs> right now. Yeah, and now he's, like, famous. And and they. It's a, I hope they have a Flash Thompson moment because he hates Parker and loves Spider-Man. Yeah, that's got to be in the movie. And yeah, I would have loved to have seen that in the trailer, but they got to give us something for the movie. But we see him at his, his, his high school, and of course the media is there, and everybody's got cell phones pointed on him. And and he's struggling to live a life knowing that he's everyone's a superhero. That Everyone knows that he's a superhero. And um, this is like the, actually a big deal in the Marvel Cinematic Universe because... None of the superheroes really have secret identities. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. 
except for Spider-Man, and he's still a kid, and it makes sense for him to have a different identity. You know, Tony Stark is Tony Stark, and Iron Man, you know, that makes sense to, you know, that was actually a big revelation. Um, the kids, you know, nowadays don't understand how big of a deal that was, but I remember in the theater, people were shocked, and like, actually, I heard gasp when Iron Man revealed his secret identity at the end of Iron Man 1. Do you remember that or no? Yeah, I remember. Heck, my mother gasped because you didn't do that. I mean, you had your stupid, you know, excuses at why, you know, this person and this person were at the same room together or whatever. And, you know, it, it made sense to a degree. that they, they made it work, but it was kind of dumb. And, you know, Marvel Cinematic Universe started off, nope, we're not doing that. And everyone yeah. knows things, so. Yeah, well, it was dumb in the comics when they tried to have Tony Stark have a secret identity. I thought it was dumb. Uh, and so I, so I applauded them when they decided to scratch that and just start it off with, we know who, everybody knows who Iron Man is. And it's a great way to differentiate themselves from what DC uh, had did in their comics. They really pushed secret identities, while Marvel kind of uh, evolved out of them mostly. Yeah. So so. Uh, he's struggling here, and he was like, "All right, I'm gonna go see Doctor Strange." And he's like, "Is there some kind of spell, any way you could, you know, go back and make people forget?" And uh, Doctor Strange, it was actually a fun little scene where he's like, "Oh, you don't have to call me Mister, you know, we've mm -hmm. saved the universe together. We're buddies." And then he's like, "Okay, Steven, can we do this?" And he's like, "Oh, yeah, I don't like that." <laughs> he knows this, but I'll allow it. And uh, Wong, like, portals out God knows where, and he's like, don't do it, you know, it's a bad idea. Yeah. And, of course, movie's got a movie, or we're not gonna have a story. So, of course he does it. I mean, it is such a reckless thing. <laughs> I can't, I yeah, mean... but there wouldn't be a movie if he didn't do it. That'd be some other way, because that, that it is would such be like, a... that, 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 The end! Everybody lived happily ever after. And we'd have riots in the streets. So, yeah. Peter's actually like, wait a minute. Nobody's going to know my secret identity. Not my best friend. Not MJ. Not my, mo my Aunt May. Nobody. And then everything falls apart. And all this chaos ensues. And eventually you get to the end where you see Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2. See Alfred Molina as Doc Ock. Which, he was awesome in Spider-Man 2. Mm -hmm. Yep, and uh, Patreon users will be uh, reviewing that. Yep, very soon um, for our Patreon movie club. So this is exciting. Um, now, it, like it, it's one of those things where the movie itself is super exciting, and where is this going to go? And everyone is wondering: Are we going to get other Spider people? <laughs> Um, because is this going to be basically the live action into the Spider-Verse? And it looks like it. <laughs> yeah. And with nobody knowing um, Peter's identity, is this going to create a riff? Because I imagine he's going to try to tell people, like uh, like, um, like Ned. And can you imagine how hurt Ned would be, could feel? He could feel like he was... That he kept this from him? Yeah, and of course, I think one thing here is that everyone is wondering, okay, is this a multiverse? Is this going to be some kind of thing with that? And is this having to do with WandaVision and the other Marvel TV shows? Yeah, Loki. And it looks like it's uh, on its own. I don't think there's any direct connections to anything happened there. Um, so w why did we get the trailer earlier? <laughs> I don't know. There's a scene with uh, Doctor Strange uh, punching, I don't know if what the move is called, where he punches someone and their soul comes out of their body, uh, like he did, um, like the it happened to him. Now, why is that happening? I don't know. <laughs> because it's a cool looking effect, the bottom line. We'll find out in movie what its purpose is, but it's in the trailer because it looks pretty damn cool. It looks cool, but it also looks a little fake. <laughs> that CG thing is like, yeah, a little bit fake. But um, yeah, there's so many things here that's like, 
I want to see this trailer again and again and again and try to see what is there. But there, it's it's a perfect amount of tease where you're like, I got, I got enough that I definitely want to see this in theaters ASAP. And they don't mention anything about um, having a premiere access right now. So it might be a theater only thing, which is fine, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, they got a Sony doesn't have a deal like Disney. That's the thing, you know. Uh, and uh, and it's coming out Christmas. Yeah, December seventeenth, twenty twenty one. The date is locked in this trailer, which I don't think it's going to change. Um, that that might have been the reason why they held off on releasing the trailer. You know, these titles have always been kind of fun with Spider Man and. You know, homecoming, and then far from home, and no way home, and it makes perfect sense. There's no way home after this. You basically shattered the multiverse. Yep. I don't know how. I mean, I would love to see how it maybe connects to WandaVision or Loki. Or Loki. Um. I'll, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Loki shows up. Yeah. Is there a variant in here somewhere that maybe that's why Doctor Strange is kicking his soul out because he doesn't know if that's the original. You know, Spider Man, or if it's a variant, or maybe that's how they do the other Spider Man. Um, you know, Toby and Andrew, uh, they're variants. That would be a fun way of doing that. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I know Tom Hardy has said that he's basically been begging to be in a Spider Man movie as Venom. I would be ecstatic for that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, course, that would be awesome. Having the you know animated um, Spider Verse characters in this movie would be even funnier <laughs> yeah yeah spider pig and the fun thing is too with uh, uh dr octopus doc ock is that we have no origin for him in current marvel cinematic universe so the yep. only origin we got is in spider-man 2 with toby mcguire from 2004 so yeah that's definitely a connection there, and it's exciting. It is an exciting trailer to watch, so I'm hyped, and it was worth the wait. Um, so, yep. All right, I guess that's as much digest much we can do on this short notice. Um, I don't want to go frame by frame and see everything, <laughs> um, but there's gonna be people that do that, so it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. After after you listen to this, just go watch it a bunch more times. Yeah, I imagine this might be like the internals. It might get like a, one more trailer, and that's it. And that's going to be coming out maybe Thanksgiving or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, uh, oh, maybe at, if it's on theaters, oh, attach it to Venom, attach it to Encanto. Yeah, those that's easy. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this is uh, uh, on uh, Shang-Chi. That too, yeah. That's why, you know, it's coming out next week, um, Mm -hmm. Shang-Chi, so. Yeah, it might be why they released this teaser. All right, yeah, that all makes sense. It all kind of worked itself out. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, well, that's going to be it for this, for emergency podcast. You know, Spider-Man gets an emergency. I'm recording this at almost 11 p.m., the lo- latest time we've ever recorded a podcast. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's almost the next day. For me, at least. For you, you're yeah. West Coast time. so it's still Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it's still early in the evening. I mean, I was going to go to bed. <laughs> I got a text. <laughs> What, Miss Spider Man? <laughs> I was just walking my dog, and I was like, oh, I come home and drinking some water before I go to bed. And I see a text from Jake, and it's like, oh, crap, I gotta go see, I gotta see that trailer right now. And so there we go. That's how we do it. Yep. All right. Hopefully, tomorrow or next couple of days, won't be some more revelations that make this podcast irrelevant, but who knows? Okay. That's it for us. Bye. Okay. Bye. Before this podcast wraps up, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you, Kano3D, Mr. Bengal5, and Kevin Winter for your financial support on Patreon.com. So that's going to be it for this podcast. Thanks for listening. You can find 3D or 2D on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and more. Just look for 3D or 2D. Links are in the info box. 
If you want to send us listener mail, our email address is email 3D or 2D at gmail.com. Thank you for either listening or watching this podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.